710 ESPN Seattle presents Bob and Graz's One More Thing. Powered by the law offices of Heidi Hunt. Fearless Wednesday predictions. It is Wednesday. Hey, happy Thanksgiving, by the way. Hey, happy Thanksgiving right back to you, partner. It's happy been Thanksgiving fun. to all our uh, viewers right. and our listeners. Safe, happy weekend for you. Thanks for listening. We appreciate giving you all this great advice for uh, friendly wagers at home, of course. We don't fully take his advice. Away. I've been on an absolute. I had a pretty good, decent week. Horrid run. I think I may have caught you. So we're going to do a whole Not lot here. of games. You may have me. I think I passed you this yeah, week. Yeah, I was. I got one right last week. I'm one and terrible. three, four and zero. Oh. Ooh, four and zero. Oh. Well, that'll change. Awful. Well, we'll do. Why don't we do five games this week? Since we're doing it on Wednesday, we got. So I can go one and four, and you can be five and zero. Yeah, let's do that. No, I want to see you go five and zero. I'm pulling for you. Look, you understand this all started with my goal to see you become a degenerate gambler. I want you to enjoy yourself. I'm being. I'm obviously invested in it because I'm getting upset when I stink at it. All right, let's start with Thursday. Let's start with uh, the two two of the three games Thursday: Packers, Lions. Packers are a seven point favorite in Detroit. I'm saying the Packers will win, but they will not cover. So. I think it's going to be a good game. I'm expecting a battle. I think there's weakness on the defense of the Packers. I think the strength is the defense of the Lions, even though they have the ability to, to explode offensively. I think it's going to be a close game. I say the Lions cover, but they don't win. Packers win. All right, we're making the same bet because I think the Lions are going to win, which means they're going to cover anyway. I think the Lions are going to pull it off. Uh, like a high-scoring fun game. By the way, the over-under for this game, another gambling term that I, I know you're becoming familiar mm -hmm. with, 10 points more than any other game this week. Really? 55 and a half points. They're expecting offense to rule, and why not in this game? It should be a fun, high-scoring one. <laughs> All right, another one of the games going on is San Francisco and the Baltimore Ravens. Where is it at? Uh, that game is in Baltimore, and the Ravens are a three-and-a-half-point favorite. I'm going to take Joe Flacco, Joe Cool, who did not look good here in Seattle. Who no, he did Threw the ball 52 times, who's been very up and down, but Ray Lewis is back. He is. They're at home. They are. Uh, the Niners are very good defensively. I still I, I can't debate the record, but there's a part of me that will not allow me to believe in them because my dad has abused me with 49ers <laughs> propaganda through my entire life. Thus, with that kind of logic, I'm going to go with the Ravens. I'm a Cowboys fan who hates the 49ers, and my father-in-law was a 49ers fan. But See what old people do. I know, man. They drive you nuts. Awful. But I think they're going to win the game. I think the Ravens were awful out here. Uh, the, to me, I, I think the, I understand why Baltimore fans don't think they quite have it yet. Mm -hmm. There's something missing in them. I think San Francisco's flying high. I think they, I think they pull it off. All right, Friday. It is number one LSU against number three Arkansas in the swamp. LSU looking to clear the path of the championship game and go on for a national championship. Arkansas can put themselves right in the middle of it. They're a 12-point underdog, Arkansas is, Wait, at LSU. Wait, swamp, isn't it Florida? Uh, you're right. It's just swampy in Baton Rouge. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not the swamp. So it's a 12-point spread. LSU favored. LSU is a good team, but they, they I, I have not seen much of Arkansas. I'll be honest on this. I'm going to plead ignorance on this. I'm going to go with LSU, who did not light it up against Alabama. That was an absolute uh, defensive struggle, defensive battle, if you enjoy those things, which I don't. Uh, which means I think they'll win, LSU, but they will not cover. How about that? Okay, I'll go. Th I think LSU will win, and I think they will cover. I mean, I don't know a lot about Arkansas either, except they don't have their quarterback from last year. Yeah. I know he's going in the NFL. So. I know they're ranked third, but we've yeah. already talked about how flawed the BCS is, so that doesn't really mean much to me. And they're in the SEC, so they're probably pretty good, but I'll, I'll, I'll go opposite you. I'll say that they're going to cover uh, and win it big. And then, uh, let's see, we've got the Apple Cup. Yeah. We've got the Huskies, we've got the Cougars. This one opened at six and a half. And now the Huskies are a nine-point favorite. Huskies will win. They don't cover. Which means for you gamblers at home, take the Cougars. Because I've been wrong just about every time I've picked the Cougars game. But that's what I'm going to say here is the Huskies will win, but they will not cover. Okay, I'll take your advice. The Cougars will win, and they will cover. Okay. Okay, I don't have to worry. <laughs> the Cougars are going to win the game. I, I think they'll win the game. I think they'll pull it off. Wow, that's a bad end of the season for the Huskies. If that's five true. in a row if they lose that one. Yes. And finally, to wrap it up, on Sunday, our Seattle Seahawks taking on the Washington Redskins. They are a three-and-a-half point favorite I, to beat the Redskins. And I've been told you never say this, but I'm going to say it. This is a team you should beat. 
They should beat the Redskins. They're a better team than the Redskins. Thus, I will pick them to beat the Redskins to make it three in a row for the first time since... In 07. 07. Four years, yeah. On their way to... Well, I don't know if they'll beat the Eagles. We'll get into that later. So I will yeah. say they will beat the what Redskins and they will uh, cover. You know, I'm the guy who came up with the Dare to Dream Express. Are you still on it? And I hate the Redskins more than any other. I, there's yes, one team do. I passionately hate, them and the University of Michigan, but them especially, and I worry terribly about this game. Come on, uh, Rex they got, Grossman? Yeah, I'm not worried about him. I'm worried about their big-time playmakers on defense. I'm worried about the Seahawks offense just be, being in one of those circumstances where they can't get anything at all going. The Redskins can kind of pull off a lucky player, so... But you know what? I mean, I can't. Am I going to jump off the train now that's going that fast? You're driving it, man. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'll stick with the Seahawks. Have a great Thanksgiving, everyone.